Healthcare System of Back Area School District Board of Education meeting. Call the meeting to order. Pledge of allegiance. Can we have an explanation? <laughs> you like a doctor's note, you mean? You all, this? No, this. Oh. Oh, I know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> is it a diving competition? No, I think it's a number of meetings before June 30. Oh, oh thank you. That's sweet. Is that, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> We're just hoping to do it. We don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> By him? <laughs> Is that what you want to do? Make sure you get, give a okay. one to each of us <laughs> next time so that we could do it too. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Is there a, um, let's do the approval of the agenda. Move to approve the agenda as presented. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Public comment. Dave? Okay. Uh, Mr. Wilson, I understand you're here to present a uh, to, uh, form to the board. Uh, actually, Kathy has it. Okay. Just sign. And as, as was, was told, this there will be no discussion on this tonight. It's a personnel issue, related personnel issue. So we asked to hand it out in person. Do you want you. all of this now? Uh, Yes, whatever you have to give to the board. Do you have copies for the board members? Well, I have statements that the girls have written and stuff like that. I don't want to go with that. Okay, I'll take all of that and I'll make copies for the board then. Can I get a copy to them? Sure. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, board will be given copies of this material and uh, they'll get back to you. An approval. approval of the minutes. Your motion? I move approval of the minutes for the three board meetings February 9th, 2016, February 18th, 2016, and February 23rd, 2016. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Communications, Dave. Uh, donations. We had another. Several nice donations. Again, Tim Neville donated a van valued at $2,500 to the LIV program. Uh, they use that van to go to the store and places uh, take people to work, their, their students to work and things like that. Uh, Target donations, the annual donation from Target came and the amounts listed for each school are, are listed on your agenda. The uh, Foxway Technical College Fab Lab, and uh, Mr. Becker, do you want to just mention what that is? Um, I was contacted by uh, Fox Valley Tech in Appleton, they have this thing called the Fab Lab. And it's a, uh, a trailer that has all kinds of CNC routers and computers and all kinds of fancy equipment in it. The idea of this trailer is that an inventor, somebody who comes up with an idea, can take their idea all the way through design to uh, prototype inside this trailer. And uh, they roll the trailer around all, the, all over the place, but they, they wrote a grant with AT&T to bring their trailer to our high school and uh, conduct their electric guitar building lab. And um, so what the grant provides is it provides for 10 to 12 students to design their own electric guitars and uh, use the equipment then to, to use the CNC routers and route out the body of the guitar and then learn how to solder and use electronics to put all the electronic stuff onto their guitar and uh, and bring it to a complete design. And uh, so I, I was just called today, they've postponed the awarding of the ceremonial check until May 6th, I believe is, is the date. 
but uh, this camp will be in the summer, uh, third week of June, I believe, is when it's going to be in there. They'll roll it on, onto our campus, and, uh, and it'll be a great experience for some of our students. And one, one of our teachers can volunteer to be the teacher in charge, and for volunteering, they get to make their own electric guitar. So it's uh, pretty vied for a position. At, at this point, I've got five people interested in that one position. <laughs> so. <coughs> and then uh, Blinker Building Systems, Inc. Is there, do you want to just talk about that a little bit? The Blinker? What they donated? Yes. Um, they were generous enough to donate three of their employees to help our uh, tech ed students uh, put in the trim, the doors, and the cabinetry on the house. Mm -hmm. And uh, they'll be coming back next week to put in the, all the counters in the kitchen and both bathrooms. Last year, you said we paid quite a bit to get one thousand six hundred dollars for all that last year, and this will be all donated time and talent. Very nice. And then the last donation is Holiday Trio. We have some contests in the district for the wellness program, and a number of teachers from different buildings receive cash awards for their efforts in, in wellness, and they got together and decided to. Um, turn those cash awards over to the schools, so schools could buy wellness initiatives for their students. So that's a form of a donation. So we thank them for doing that. And it was a significant amount of money, too. I don't remember how much it was. Carl, do you remember? I should know where it was. <laughs> okay. But it was significant. It was a good amount, yeah. yes. Some do, to do some good things in each of the buildings. Good. Yeah. So we'll need a motion for that. Is there a motion? Move to approve the donations uh, with gratitude. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, thank, you. thank you notes. Uh, the Gary Weichel family, a donation was made. Uh, Mr. Weichel's wife passed away. And the Marie Lang family, donation was made to the Scholarship Foundation. Uh, her mother passed away. Under recognition, uh, last week was, a week or so ago, was FFA week. Uh, Ms. Serb, I understood you wanted to, you talked to us a little bit about that at the last, after the last meeting. How'd it go? Well, it's just a wonderful week, the third week of February. And uh, the FFA members, we have 143 FFA members that will pack a high school and about 15 that have graduated and you can be in the FFA until you're 21 years old. And some of the degrees and honors that you can get, you have to be out of school to earn. Um, we started out um, the week by getting our um, FFA supplement uh, published in the Wapaka Post and the students uh, sell ads and write the articles to make that a reality. We had an ice cream social for all students um, in the agriculture education department. Uh, Tuesday, we had the famous teacher breakfast, um, which includes school board members and, and everybody that helps the FFA uh, throughout the year. On Wednesday and Thursday, we had petting zoo, animal education displays in the head house and animal lab, um, pre-K through um, second grade. And uh, that used to be just a one-day event, and now it's a two-day, and that is a great time. On Friday, we had Ag Olympics, where the entire student body was excused to the gymnasium for the last uh, hour and 20 minutes. And um, we had participation from the uh, teachers, uh, anywhere in, you know, uh, seniors down to the freshmen. Um, we had 12 events, and they were all successful. And uh, like I, I said at the cabinet meeting, I give a shout out to uh, Mr. Felt, who got three pies. Um, shoved in his face. Um, the, 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 <laughs> the, we did a, we did a uh, food drive for the Wapaka Food Pantry, and we had the drive split into faculty member and then a freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. And the person that uh, brought in the most food from each of those uh, divisions got a pie and they all walked around all the teachers and they all just gave it to Mr. Felt. So it took us like three towels to get him cleaned up. So uh, that, that was a good time and uh, you know, of course the FFA um, really appreciates support from the school board, the teachers and administrators to make that happen. Thank you. 
Breakfast Week, uh, March 7th through 11th. Uh, our breakfast program continues to go strong. And then Logan Jansen, they qualified for state level competition of the National Geographic Beat. So congratulations to Logan. Um, reports on meetings attended. I, I know Mr. Fair attended the um, legal and human resources meeting in Wisconsin Dells. And, uh, he would like to report on that, but he'll hold his report until next month. Uh, were there any others? I don't think so. Hi. Just said one thing. I went to the academic banquet along with Connie and Steve and Andy, and it, it was very nice. The speaker was phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So I just wanted to make that compliment. Great. Um, we'll get to school visits later on. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, just so for the rest of um, upcoming meetings and other activities. Tuesday, March 15th, that's a week from tonight, is the Instructional Committee meeting to talk about the uh, chain school and grades three and four. April 5th is the school board election. April 6th and 12th are the election canvas. And then the regular board meeting next one, April 12th. Uh, this room at 5.45 p.m. Not on here uh, is the Live Open House. We'll be coming up. Yes. Tomorrow. It's tomorrow, tomorrow, right? Tomorrow. Yeah, the Live, Live program has open house 3.30 to 5.30 tomorrow. Thank you. I um, encourage you to stop by and, and say hi. Visit the classroom. What time is that? 3.30 to 5.30. Committee meetings. Sandy? Oh. The Personnel Committee, it's just been a busy month for, busy two months, for committee meetings and board meetings. Um, we had two that were closed session um, personnel committee meetings. The first on February 11th to hold the final of our initial candidate interviews, and then to review the slate of interviewees and prepare a slate of finalists for the board um, to interview. And then on March 1st, um, having had several board meetings and selecting a final candidate in Mr. Greg Meehan, on March 1st, the personnel committee met, having been given the authority to draft a um, contract proposal and, and, the, and uh, to draft the parameters of an offer to be made to Mr. Meehan. And so that's what we did at this meeting. So I'll pause here to just um, move on behalf of the committee approval of the two sets of minutes that were in the board materials. And then I'll continue with my report. So that doesn't need a second as a committee recommendation. Okay, just a vote. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, thank you. So um, that having been said, we're in the process of working with the attorney to draft the formal documents, the, the contract and the, the master agreement that would be given to Mr. Nian. It's proceeding a little bit more slowly than we had anticipated, um, in part or mostly because we want to make sure that we're compliant with the Affordable Care Act as we're creating these documents. And Mr. Nian is aware of this process. Um, Dr. Peschel sent him the broad parameters of the offer that we're working on. He understands the reason it's taking a little bit longer, and uh, he and Dr. Peschel have been in correspondence. So as soon as the documents are finalized with our attorney, then we'd anticipate sending them to Mr. Nian <coughs> and then planning a meeting with the personnel committee so that if there are questions or um, discussion that is needed that we'd be able to do that and at some, some point after that meeting or other meetings the personnel committee would be bringing a contract forward to the board in open session for um, approval. Can we see a copy of the contract? I assume you'll send it out to Greg before before, before we meet. get together. Right. Of, Is of it course. possible for us to get that too? Just same to time I send it to him I'll copy everybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Is council giving us a target date? Um, I actually had communication with them today, and um, the issue relates to health insurance. And we're trying to, I'm not sure the board can do what they want to do. Um, he gave me some direction, and I emailed back and said, I don't think that 
that's right. Uh, so he's taking it back to the ACA team and he'll get back to me. He knows it's urgent and we should have a resolution tomorrow. Okay. Thank yeah. you. The Health Insurance Committee, uh, Mr. Carl Hayek was going to report on that meeting. Okay. Um, most of you know that our health insurance has dropped uh, by 28% in the last five years. Uh, but we knew we had a high loss ratio this year and that it would be a challenging year for us to uh, maintain that continual loss. So we brought together the Health Insurance Committee and we wanted to explain more so rather than get into the dynamics of uh, percentages and so on, we wanted to get into talk about uh, the future of health insurance and we talked uh, about private exchanges and we talked about baseline parameters, having a baseline set amount the district pays for health insurance as you move forward to, get a, to uh, stay in compliance with the Cadillac plan which continually rises and in, in 2017 or so we approach more so that $20,000 threshold which would get us into that catalog thing. So how, how can we manage our health insurance forward and be compliant and uh, give the employees more ownership on that? And as the health insurance committee uh, talked and discussed this, we, we will have more and more informational meetings with the staff to get them on board and take uh, to have ownership uh, with this as we transcend uh, so the so-called consciousness uh, moving forward. Um, but one of the things we do know, though now, we, it came in today that we knew we were going to have a tough negotiation with uh, WEA. Um, but uh, today as M3 has working be, been working behind the scenes and we're, we're ready to go to proposal to bid insurance out if it exceeded uh, uh, multiple amounts. We thought at one point it would be almost a 15 percent increase. Uh, as it came in today or uh, earlier uh, yesterday that uh, WA, uh, M3 did an analysis and they said um, that we would literally deserve an 8.4 percent increase. Uh, WA came back to the table and they said uh, we'll give you a 5.6 percent increase. Then as we tweaked the design a little bit uh, with M3 uh, there's alternative one and alternative two that uh, changing the co-pays slightly and uh, emergency care slightly, we can get that ratio down to a 2.4 percent. And if we work a little further, which would be uh, raising the deductible slightly, we can get a zero percent increase. So we know that we're, uh, we're, uh, we'll have conversations, Dr. Peschel and I, with M3 tomorrow morning, and we'll put together the Health Insurance Committee again and uh, uh, move forward. But it looks like we're in a better picture than we anticipated. Um, uh, some, some of it to do with their uh, believing in us, with our wellness, and uh, they've had us for a long term, so it, it appears that we're, we may not have to go out to bid. So that's my report. Did they cap any of the shock losses, the two larger losses, or did they not really go into detail they on that? They didn't go into detail at this point, but they, there's a threshold that they would uh, take out uh, two of the highest losses when they do that rate. So, um, so that's part of the equation, sure. We've got a meeting scheduled tomorrow morning. We'll find out a little bit more about that. But bottom line, we're going to bring the insurance committee together once again, explain this information, <coughs> and we'll talk about it. When will that be? We haven't set a date yet. Okay. We're waiting for you to be gone. <laughs> <laughs> I should hold up those fours again. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going anywhere? No. I'm not going anyplace. Okay. We'll schedule that. Though. We'll get on that tomorrow after our meeting. <clears throat> Uh, resolution 042715-5 designating legal counsel I explained this to the board previously but we need to take action make a motion to uh, discontinue our relationship with Davidson Kielfau and designate Von Breeson and Roper as our legal counsel effective February 23rd 2016. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Everybody knows why? Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. School of business. School business. Well, I did. 
Um, I visited the high school and um, I actually went early in the morning, which is unusual. <laughs> but I did. It's about 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> 8. <laughs> and um, there were several classes that weren't meeting at that time because of whatever. They have prep time for the teachers. So um, I went into a few classrooms that were empty and there were no students. Um, but I spent a lot of time over on, um, I went to the live classrooms actually and spent a good amount of time there with them. Um, the students were having a lesson in cooking and how to um, do some of the simple tasks involved in cooking and preparing um, macaroni and cheese and, and simple kind of meals. And so um, it was very enlightening. There had been a medical emergency that morning, and so um, it was interesting to see how the school was all told to remain in their classrooms until the medical emergency was dealt with. And um, so it was uh, interesting to see that all pan out and how effective it was, and um, all low key, and it all went well. Um, then I uh, went on down to uh, the cooking hallway or uh, the what do we call it? Face. Face hallway. And um, spent some time with um, Mrs. Schwallenberg, and she was <coughs> talking a lot about the culinary classes that they're doing and how they're expanding on that, and how every year they have at least five or six students from Wapaka that go on to culinary school based on the experience that they've had um, with those classes. So it's, it's really been um, a very successful program, and actually becoming more and more successful as more males are getting into the cooking program and it's kind of a cool chef thing so and then um, Mrs. Gutsky I spent a lot of time with her and she was telling me about uh, the grant that they've received from Fox Valley Tech and then also in conjunction with Oshkosh um, for the CNA training that is available at our high school um, in conjunction with those other schools and how our students are um, enrolling in a CNA program. They go on Saturdays. And um, the school is doing, our high school is doing what they can to help the young people study for the tests and prepare themselves. Because it's a very stringent um, testing program and it's not an easy thing to get a CNA license. And she said there's such a demand for it right now that a lot of the students get five to six job offers even before they graduate because there's such a demand. And now anybody going to, into nursing school is required to have a CNA license. So it's becoming more and more popular. So to do that, Mrs. Gutsky, there was a hospital bed and there was all sorts of equipment needed to set up a fake hospital room so that the young people can practice, practice all the practical skills that are involved. Because they're tested not only on the knowledge, um, the biological knowledge, but they're also tested on the practical um, aspects of caring for a patient. So she's taken it upon herself to just kind of create the pseudo hospital room that's a work in progress right now and how to change sheets and you know move a patient and whatever and impressively she went through the program herself last summer so that she would be able to help the young people prepare for this program at her own cost. So um, it was really eye-opening to see that that's kind of a whole new direction that um, that program is taking in our high school, which is noteworthy. So it was a great visit, Good. as was the breakfast. Which came first? Well, the breakfast. I, I just had lock orders. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really good. And actually, I got to sit down with the kids then that prepared the meal, and they were exhausted after the rush of people. And they, we talked a lot about how they gathered the recipes and how they divvied up the jobs and the responsibility and what time they had to get there and the cleanup and whatever. So they had a real appreciation for their mothers. <laughs> Good. Anyone else? I didn't, other than going to the breakfast and the academic banquet and both were very nice. The food was nice. And you know, the FFA room is just incredible. There's like 12 things going on simultaneously in that room and Betty and I came back to get Betty and she was talking to some kids and there were kids taking tests and there were kids with their arms in some big vat of water or I don't know what was going on in there but it's just all very entertaining. They're all learning 
Not sure what, but there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Can I make a report on a visit I didn't make but would have liked to? <laughs> uh, this is a first. <laughs> <laughs> well, Betty had um, been asked to judge a uh, Dr. Zeus costume contest last Friday, but wasn't able to attend, so I volunteered, but turned out to be sick Friday morning. Oh. But And I was so disappointed, because I had studied to do this. It had been a long time since I had read any Dr. Zeus <laughs> books. But Ms. Ms. Zielinski, who had had invited one of us to take your place, not, uh -huh. not really, but be the, the person, um, sent me a video so I could prep, sent me a rubric for judging the costumes, and um, so there were specific things the judges were to look for. I think it was the inaugural year for this. There was a parade led by the cat in the hat, and yeah. Sue Abrahamson from the library came and read stories, and the children were, and Ms. Zielinski sent me a photo of the winners in each of the classes, and they were spectacular, it looked wonderful. So I hope, if I don't get invited to be a judge, I can go and watch. It really seemed like it was a wonderful event. That was a good thing. And I had a rip canal. Oh, dear. <laughs> I was really sorry to pass that one up. Yeah. The alternative was not good. <laughs> no, for me either at this no. point. But anyway, I appreciated the, the invitation. It sounded terrific. After the last month of personnel committee meetings with you, I have to ask how many pages of questions did you uh, draft for that? <laughs> you know, I decided I'd wing it. <laughs> really? No, no, but, Sandy. That, you that I had to remember these were children. <laughs> I mean, little children. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you want to make them cry. <laughs> anyway. Did she find someone at the last minute? She did. Um, who stepped at um, Carmesando? Oh, was there. She's a, a 4K director at Tiny Treasures, but it was a private <coughs> day, so she happened to be subbing, so it all worked out. Oh, that was perfect. Good. Well, I appreciated the offer. Mm -hmm. anybody, anybody else? Okay. The administrator. Betty Care Agreement with Athletic Trainer. We have a three year agreement from Betty Care. Um, really, no changes to that. No significant changes will just continue on as it has been. The only thing they're going to be doing is placing some um, billboards up at the different entrances of our outdoor athletic events and one in the gym just indicating that they're providing service. Um, kind of advertising. Nice, it's an adver advertising billboard. And the trainer is a Wapaka grad? Yeah. Cassie Gladowski? Oh. Yeah. Very exciting. She was very excited to get yeah. that. Good. Yeah. They're not easy to come by. She's been holding, waiting out for that, I think, yeah, for quite a while. Good, good yeah. for her. So we'll need a motion to approve that three-year agreement. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then I included a letter, uh, it's a response to the WSB wellness program presentation that uh, Mr. Hayek did down in the Dells at the WSB <coughs> uh, conference. And M3 was part of that presentation as well, but they sent a letter to me and I shared it with you on the, in the board packet uh, complimenting Mr. Hayek for the excellent job he did representing School District World Packet. So for that, thank you, Carl. Thank you, Carl. Before we get to the consent agenda, I would like to point out we have um, a lot of experienced teachers walking out the door of your retirement this year. Bobby Miles, Patsy Hunter, Julie DeWalt, Tim Cole, Greg Warren, Roger Larson, John Kronkowitz, and Joan Holman all retiring this year. Lots of years uh, among that group of people. So congratulations to them and thank you to them for their service to the district and wish them well in the future. Echoing that appreciation, I move to approve the consent agenda. Second. Roll call, um, Betty Mannion? Yes. Sandy Robinson? Yes. Connie Baldwin? Yes. Kristen Greenfield? Yes. Stephen Johnson? Yes. Stephen Shambo? Mm. Yes. Is that our only job share now that we have? It is the only on? one remaining, okay. yes. And, it's and they, I know Nancy's been doing it a long time. Is that who she's been sharing with for a long time? Uh, that's relatively new. Okay. Um, I mean, 
Okay. Yes, that was last, this, this current year was the first year of that one. Okay. Yeah. But she, I think she was job share for a long time, then stopped, and then started again when Curry Hansen came on board. Okay. Yeah. How many people are we looking for for the fall? <laughs> We're in the midst of excuse re me reorganizing what we are is yeah. where we're looking yeah. for. We're in the midst of reorganizing <laughs> and uh, a lot of positions throughout the district that were, um, you know, the, the number of teachers we hire at the elementary has to do with the class sizes, <coughs> so particularly when we're in the sage classrooms of 18 to 1 ratio. So as those with small and large classes as they move through, we need to shift class uh, grade room assignments from one teacher to another. We're working on that along with the uh, high school as well. But we will get the posting out as soon as we can, I believe. Um, and then uh, we'll, we'll start with that. But we're trying to do the internal stuff first so that we know exactly what positions we're looking to for externally. Is only one chain, Julie DeWalt? Well, that's the only <coughs> chain, chain one on here. but. Mm -hmm. There's some, there's some other shifting going on, some positions from Learning Center, but it all depends on the board's decision on third and fourth grade as well. So we're gonna hold on final decisions until we know what that's gonna look like. Okay. Adjourn. Adjourn. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone.